We're not the largest Israelites. We're not the most famous. We, but the most I have so fit to bless us and favor us to bring this gospel out on a higher level. Shalom and welcome to another installment of Elders of GMS giving all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. We're using a different format today and we're going to see how this works out. The picture might be a little bit different than normal. Um, if it doesn't work out, we'll go back to the uh, old format, but we're just going to see how it works out. Uh, anyway, um, I'd like to say shalom to all you brothers out there, all the uh, uh, leaders and the uh, the uh, different um, brothers, captains, and so forth, and uh, different uh, guys out there on the highways and the byways uh, pushing out that word. Uh, you can see, and I, and I hope you're watching uh, the news, um, because you can see these uh, prophecies coming to pass left and right. It's hot all over the planet. All kind of things are happening. I want to go into, uh, I'm pretty sure all y'all been pretty much keeping up with uh the Trayvon uh, Martin trial, well, the spirit had it where I've been pretty much watching most of it, you know, because they played it all day pretty much, and whatever you don't catch in the daytime, they replay it in the night, and the different uh, talking head shows are talking about it, and they'll go, they'll talk about the case with the different lawyers, and then they'll go back to uh, uh, whatever person was on stand that day. Now, um, the um, they they all talk about how the the the, um, the state um, the the case that they brought was uh, real weak, but guess what? As weak as, as weak as it was, they definitely proved that this guy uh, was his was his crack creepy ass cracker's name. Yeah, George Zimmerman, the so called Jew, his so called his mother, I believe, is Panamanian. One of them, Uncle Uncle Tom, or uh, Uncle Aunt Thomasina. Uh, 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 Latin tribes married to a so-called Jew, which happened to be a judge. And um, so, if you're a judge, you are high up in the system. If you if you a judge, how many judges do you know? <laughs> you know, when you go out to drop drop off the tr trash, how many of how many times you ran into a judge that's dropping off the trash with you? A judge is a high position in this uh, in this damn system, man. So they're gonna do everything they can to uh, get this creepy-ass cracker off. But anyway, I saw the evidence, man, and as weak as the uh, state was, the state was pretty strong, but they could have been a lot stronger. They could have, the, 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 the witnesses could have, they could have did a lot more. I mean, I'm not no attorney, I'm not no expert, but I mean, they could have did, did a lot better. And um, basically, what they did, they did bring out enough, like I said, to uh, prove that this guy did it because Zimmerman said when he was talking to dispatch or they overheard him, heard him, heard it, heard him say it, that this guy, uh, well, they said when the case, when, when the situation first happened, they caught on tape him saying fucking coons. But then they said, oh, I think he was saying fucking cold. No, he, he said fucking coons. He's talking about niggas, man. And they had a record of all the times that this guy used to call in the police, and it was always about a black guy, some suspicious-looking black guy. And then he said something to the effect of, I'm not going to let this, this fucking punk get away with it. And he, called, he said something else. I think he called him an asshole. Oh, he said the guy looks weird. He looks like he's on drugs or something. He looks like he's about to break into somebody's house. I believe it was either the dispatch or the uh, police that said stay in the car or stay in his vehicle. And he got out of, out of his vehicle anyway. And he said that this guy jumped him from out the bushes and shit. And he said, it's time for you to die, die homie. Ain't no young kid that, that age. He was 18 years old, 17, 18. They don't use that phrase, homie, man. That's something that we used to use back when I was young, man. They don't use homie. I mean, once in a while they use it, but that shit sounds like some black exploitation movie, man, yeah, yeah. with some so-called Jew, Jew director, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm going to give you an example. The movie Shaft, the, uh, this guy, uh, uh, L, uh, what's his name? Uh, Samuel Jackson was talking to his chick, and they were talking about having sex, 
And he said, and then you know, and then in this roundabout way, and he said, it's my booty to please, it's my duty to pre- please that booty. Ain't no black man gonna make no corny fucking statement like that. That was written in there for him to, s- to say that shit. It's my duty to please that booty. That's something that is so called. Yes, it's a good line. Say that. So that shit, I'm a, it's a time for you to die, homie. That's something that a so-called Jew would say, you know? <laughs> oh, and then the scream, the main thing was the scream, right? Now, you can, I don't know those guys personally, but to me it sounded like a younger man's voice. I could be wrong. I don't know Trayvon, uh, Trayvon per- personally, but guess what? His, you can see in his mother's eyes that, that she said that, that, that was my, that's my son's voice. Because she gave birth to this child. She'd been around this child from day one to, his, to, to 17, 18 years. So I'm pretty sure he was on the bike and he fell off the bike and screamed. He burnt himself and screamed. He cut himself. His brother hit him and he screamed a certain way. A mother knows these things. All right? A mother knows these things. But then this fucking Panamanian bitch is going to get up, which is uh, Zimmerman's mother, the creepy ass cracker's mother, and then she's gonna say, Yes, that's my son's voice. But then, even Zimmerman, they said, Did you scream? He said, I'm not, I, I don't know if it was me or not. But then they said, When he, the, one, one guy, one person was screaming, and when they heard the gunshot, the screaming stopped. So, if you if you screaming and you get shot in the heart, guess what? You're gonna stop screaming. So, I'm gonna say this. If this man gets off, don't be surprised if there's major riots down there in Florida and it's spread like wildfire throughout this country, man. Because Jake is on edge. Everybody's waking up to the fact that these white people are devils, you know, and, and, and the most I help you along with us. The Israelites pushing this thing because you can't tell me you never went on YouTube and have run across a GMS video, you know. If you didn't see us teaching, you saw somebody else teaching. You might have saw them brothers out there in Chicago or down in Florida or out there in California or out there in London or out there in Germany or, 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 or Michigan, all right? Yeah, and I, I'm going to give a little shout-out to uh, 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 y- Yachanan. <laughs> and that brother, shalom to you, brother. And, man, you be putting them videos up, man. You get, <laughs> you get people riled up, man, which is a good thing, man. And the most I got you as like a like a like a special agent <laughs> just to get out get at uh Nate and the other guys, man. And you be bringing out stuff that I I said where he get that from? I said where the hell he get that? Hey Nate was saying this day I didn't see when Nate said that. What where he get that from? But the spur got him to do that, so I give give the brother a prop for for doing that, man. You know, big ups to you, Ock. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, the brothers out there in the States, man, y'all kicking it hard. Hey, last night, uh, there was a, a video up uh, that uh, uh, the tech, Texas uh, Dallas camp uh, put up. Uh, and they, they, they went out all into Nate. And there's been other videos of guys putting up uh, videos about Nate. Because now, remember what I said when we were getting on Bubble Eye, right? I said, the spirit got us on Bubble Eye, right? I said, there's going to be a point. Where the most I gonna bring that spirit up off of Bubble Eye, and then, then we're gonna go on somebody else. Yep. Well, the spirit jumped, pulled us back, and put put us on uh, Nate, man. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And Nate, he's not looking. Oh, there's one guy, I believe his name is uh, My- Mayaka, Mayaka Allah or Michael Ben Israel. And he was actually down with, uh, oh, yeah, with, with Nate and them, but they screwed him over. And he's no longer with him because I think he was dealing with some hard time situation. They didn't help him. Now, I don't know the man personally, man, because they're coming up saying that that's bullshit. We did help you. I don't know what the whole story is. But you know what? The thing is, he did bring out, he brought you out into the spotlight. Whether he's making it up, whether he's uh, bullshitting or not, whether he's sincere, I don't know. I I don't know the man, you know? But knowing you guys, you guys are a fucking bunch of demons, man. 
You guys are a bunch of damn demons, man. That's why Yahaan got your ass because you, you couldn't get around it. And you try to get around it, man. Oh, watch part one and watch part three and you'll get the full. No, you can't get around the fact that the guy came up took, looking for help. But a week, two weeks before that, Nader made a video saying it's more than just you, you got to watch.